The higher the bit depth of an image, the more shades from black to white it can store. The simplest form of an image is a one bit image. Now this can only show two shades, black and white. That is because the one bit can only store one of two values, zero and one. On the other hand, an eight bit image can store 265 possible shades. A 16 bit image can display over 65,000 shades and 24 bit images can store over 16 million shades. So you can see it's an exponential scale, which doubles every time you increase the bit depth. So a 9-bit image has double the amount of shades that are in an 8-bit image, and a 7-bit image has half the amount of shades in an 8-bit image. So a black and white gradient with a relatively low bit rate will look a bit like this. And a black and white gradient with a relatively high bit rate will look like this. When it comes to colors, you may have heard of the acronym BPC, which is bits per channel. And the channels are usually RGB, which are red, green, and blue. If it's an 8-bit image, this image would have 256 shades per channel. So 256 reds, 256 greens, and 256 blues. And when these are blended together, they form the complete photograph. As the bit depth increases, the file size also increases because more information has to be stored the more bits there are. So a 24-bit image would be huge, whereas an 8-bit image would be much smaller. For images with a gradient in them, like a sky at sunset with a bright horizon and a darker zenith to your photo, the higher the better so you don't get banding through this gradient. Whereas if it's a clip art file or a basic logo, you should be able to drop the bit depth to reduce the size of the image. Now most TVs, monitors and phone screens cope perfectly well with an 8-bit image. So you shouldn't worry about it too much. And a smaller image will always load up a lot quicker on websites and within apps. If you like this video, try clicking on this one to learn about why you should be shooting in RAW. Or click down here for another of my tutorials. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.